My name is Dan White. I'm a paramedic and I write the EMS technology column, Insights on Innovation, for paramedictv.com and emsone.com. Today I'd like to introduce you to the View Stick. The View Stick is a fast and remarkably easy to use video laryngoscopy device that allows the clinician to actually see what the end of the ET tube would see. It consists of two pieces. One is a very lightweight and rugged four ounce video handpiece. This incorporates a 320 by 240 resolution color display and three different buttons that I'll explain in a second. The other part is the disposable. This is the video stylet. This has a fiber optic channel that carries light from the handpiece to the tip and a CMOS camera chip in the end of the stylet. To use it, you attach your stylet to the handpiece. There's a nipple and a, and a hole in the back of the handpiece that allow you to orient it correctly and you just snap it together and then insert it into your ET tube. You use the stopper to secure it at the appropriate length so the camera is just right at the end of the tube. And then lubricate around the balloon to make it easier to pass through the cords. You turn on the screen with this button. You increase the brightness or decrease the brightness with this button. And with this third button, you can actually flip the image, which makes it possible to innovate a patient in tight restricted quarters where you have to approach them from their head or trapped in a car or immobilized in a CAD board. To use it, you hold it at the top, keeping your thumb on the bottom of the video handpiece. This will allow you to bend the screen forward as needed so that you're able to maintain a direct line of sight view with the screen while you're intubating. There's two different methods for using the view stick. One is much like your regular laryngoscopy technique. You use a laryngoscope in your left hand and the stylet and tube in your right. The second method is just to grab the lower jaw and tongue pulling this out of the way a little bit so that you can more easily pass the stylet and tube through the cords. I'll demonstrate. We insert the laryngoscope. We follow with the tube and stylet, get a good view on the screen of our cords, and just slide it right through. If you need to, you push forward on the screen so that you're able to maintain a direct line of sight view. Once you've seen the tube go through the cords, you remove the stylet holding firmly onto the top of the ET tube connector so you neither lose your position nor your connector. And then, of course, check it with your bag, auscultating both lung fields. And that's how simple and easy the view stick is to use. The Pick Stick DVR is a solid state digital video recorder, an option for the view stick. It'll also work with many other common video laryngoscopes. You just plug it into your view stick handpiece and push the clip button when you begin the intubation. When you've finished, push the clip button again. If you forget, it'll automatically shut off in two minutes. Last, what many EMS providers are really excited about is the ability to take a JPEG still image of the tube lodged inside the trachea to make a part of their electronic patient record. That's the PicStick DVR for ViewStick.